morning. Hi, the eye campers, hope you're doing well. Out for another bimble today. By God, is it parky. It's freezing. It's just parked up and it's one degree, according to the car. So, yeah, the temperatures have really taken a tumble. So, I think I've got about four layers of wool on, so uh, all good. I'm just out for a few hours this morning to uh, stretch the legs a little bit, cook up some breakfast. So I'll bring you along. Bye. Bye. Sun's just about to uh, peek its head over the hill over on the horizon there. Yeah, looks like it's going to be an off day. Starting to get a sweat on. Whew. Take them off. Steaming up again. But, um, I was meant to bring you a, a video last week because I was out camping but uh, it was a big group camp and sadly I just didn't uh, get much footage <laughs> excuse me clamber under a tree there yeah I just didn't get much footage so um, what I think I might do is overlay a little bit of footage now just a few shots of camp in Suffolk last week and uh, yeah drop some footage in now and then I'll bring you back lovely but it was a great camp though caught up with the fellas the weather was a bit challenging but my my TP my one tireless TP held up really really well really impressed with that uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. So, gonna have a fire in my bush box today. Just collected a bit of wood, a few twigs. I ain't used this for a while. We'll bust it out. Sweet. Got for a bit of a uh, cotton wool with Vaseline on it today, keeping it simple. Some dappling nicely through the trees. Fast taking nicely. Oh, I can feel that warmth straight away, it's lovely. <laughs> Old Chris, Wilderness Nomad, should be joining me shortly, I think. He's on his way with his doggo. So good to see him. Time for a brew, I think.
So whilst the uh, water goes on the boil, I've got a new tarp to play with. Let's have a little look. So yeah. Excuse my camera work there, that is shocking, isn't it? But yeah. Got an outkit tarp here. It's got the rig 3.5 it's called. And uh I want to take that down to Cornwall with me at Christmas time for when I camp down there. So gonna pitch it up here I think just to see what it's like, make sure it's all good and uh show you what it's like. It's just only a little tarp, it's uh, 2.4 meters by 1.4 meters, but that's all I want. Uh, just enough to sort of cover the bivy bag. So that's my plan when I go down Cornwall in at Christmas. I want to take the the hoop baby with me and uh, have a camp on the moors so I'll bring you along quite a nice small package There we go then folks, it's sort of one of the shelters I like to do when I don't have any trees around me, even though I do have plenty of trees around me. The point of this exercise is to pitch it without trees because I want to use it on the moors. So that's kind of like one of my go-to shelter sort of setups. But um, yeah, it looks quite good. Plenty of other pegging points out the back there as well. And I can peg this out if I wanted to. So I've, I've put some um, shock cord here just to help protect the um, tie out points. And shock cord up here as well. But I'm going to get inside it now and uh, give you a sense of space. this but you can sit up in it that's all good hello mate hello, look mate. who's just coming down oh. caught me in the middle of filming hey you caught me in the middle of filming oh brilliant cool. <laughs> i went and gone and chose the hardest way up did you yeah <laughs> going to cook up some pancakes folks we didn't coordinate this but lo and behold i come out and see chris today and he's cooking pancakes as well yeah, weird, <laughs> it? funny how it works eh? all right let's get this on it's cold. Okay. so am i a supreme tosser let's find out oh look at that chris there was no doubt in the fact that you're a tosser <laughs> i'm an absolute tosser. <laughs> super tosser <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true though, that second one's come out a lot better than the first one, yeah. hasn't it? <laughs> Always the way, even at home. We should do like a, you know, like, um, you know, like, what's the best biscuit? You know, why do pancakes come out better second time round? Yeah, it must be all about the, the way the pan heats up and that. Now these, these pans are great. Yeah, they're nice and thin as well, aren't they? Yeah. Ones? Oh, 
Yeah, it's got pretty shabby. Yeah. There we go then folks, all packed up, filled myself up with pancakes and tea, had a good chat with Chris. Good to see you, Chris. Absolutely, mate. Thanks Always for joining pleasure. Me. No, definitely. Yeah, lovely weather to walk back out to as well. Bloody freezing, though. It is cold. Yeah. So, sorry this one's not a camp, but I'll bring you along for a camp next time. And hopefully, if I remember, I'll slide in a few little shots of uh, last week's camp in Suffolk as well. So, bye for now.